In this video, I want to show you how to do conditional formatting in Microsoft Outlook. Now, you probably know that you can do conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure I have some videos in my video list that will show you how to do conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. But let's do conditional formatting in Outlook. So I'm in my inbox. So the reason I would do conditional formatting is to make an email stand out. So what you want to do is you want to pick on the view menu up top view, then I'll pick on the word view settings. And then we're on this window. So then I pick on the word conditional formatting. Now there's some that are built in. There's one for unread messages, expired email, overdue email. So you can just click on any one of those to turn those on. But let's add a new one. So I'll pick on add. And let's say I'm going to call this one from Microsoft. You can call it anything you wanted to. That's just the name of the uh, of the rule. Then you want to set a font. So let's say I want those to be red in color so that they really stand out and maybe even make those uh, bold so it'll really stand out. Now so you have different ways to format that of course. I'll click on OK. Now you set your condition. So let's pick on condition. All right, so then uh, is it from a certain person? Uh, uh, does it have certain words in there? So let's say if the subject has the word Microsoft. So you can really set lots of diff different conditions here. Uh, if it, is it from somebody? Is it sent to a certain time? Um, you can do things like, uh, is it read or unread? Does it have attachments? The size of the file could be a condition. And then you could even do a more advanced search where you would have more than one um, condition. But let's say if the word Microsoft is in the subject, that's my condition. I click on OK. So what I'm hoping that is if the word Microsoft is in the subject, then I want it to be read. I'm going to click on OK. And we'll click on OK again. Let's see if we have any. So if I scroll up and down, notice how this one turned red because the word Microsoft is in the subject. So that it really stands out as you can see. All right, let's try that again. Let's say if um, it has the word weekly in there, then uh, or weekly digest, I want those to be in blue. So I'll pick on the view menu. And I'll pick on view settings and I'll pick on conditional formatting. Now you can have as many of these as you need. So I'll add a new one and I'll call this one, um, say we'll just call it digest. I'll pick on font. This time I'll make it blue. All right, this blue should really stand out. All right, and uh, that'll be fine. Make it bold. Then you want to set your condition. So I'll say, the subject has the word digest. All right. And then, of course, you can put any kind of criteria that you wanted to. I'll click on OK. I'll click on OK again. And I'll click on OK again. And notice right away, those really stand out. And as you get new emails in, then, um, you know, it'll automatically be colored like that. So clearly, the ones that say Microsoft are in red. And the one that say digest are in uh, blue. Now, if I want to change that or remove it, you just go back to the same exact screen. I'll pick on view and then view settings, conditional formatting. Now, if you don't want that to be on anymore, I could just uncheck those. Or if I want to edit one, I'll pick on the word digest. Maybe I'll pick on a different font. Now that I look at that blue, I'm not really that happy with it. So I'll pick on a different color. Green should stand out. All right, so I'll pick on OK. And I'll pick on OK and then OK again. Good. I like the green better than that other blue. And it, you can see it really stands out. And if I had emails that come in with those criteria, there'll be colors so that they really stand out. Now, if I wanted to turn them off, I'll pick on View and then View Settings. I'll pick on Conditional Formatting. And I will just uncheck those. So I can check them or uh, uncheck them as necessary. I'm going to click on OK. And I'll click on OK again, and now it's back to normal. Now, if you turn those on, and then you close out of Outlook, and they're still on, 
Well, they'll still be on the next time as well. I wanted to show you how to quickly do conditional formatting in Outlook.